Hello everyone, welcome to another video, and today, I am here to talk about Nintendo's 29, not 2019, 2020, the next year, the future, um, I wanted to do a prediction video, because I did one for last year, so, I'm gonna do one again, we're gonna see what we get right, um, so to start, I'm gonna go over what we did get right from last year's predictions, which was not a lot. So last year I predicted Mario Maker on Switch in my video, which was right, because we did get Mario Maker on Switch. It was in the freaking next direct very early on. Um, so yeah, that's me. I got that right after wishing it for like, not wishing it, but like predicting it for like the past two years prior to that. But sure, we got it. <laughs> um, and then I said a new Zelda, which I kind of got right. I was expecting a like brand new Zelda. Instead, we got a remake of an old one. But you know what? I'll count it. That's a win. I also predicted SNES games on Switch, which did happen this year. And not only that, but I was really in that video wishing that uh, Kirby uh, Superstar would come to the SNES um, thing, and it did. And I've been playing it, and it's fun. So you know, we got we got a little credit to our name. Uh, we, you know, we, I am pretty good at predicting things, kind of. You know, uh, if you ignore like all 30 billion other predictions I made in that video. But now I'm coming to you with five predictions for this year. Some of them are likely. Some of them are not as likely. It's gonna be a good old time. Starting off with something you know pretty likely, something I think will definitely happen next year. Um, a new Kirby game. So, Kirby Star Allies came out, I think, at this point, it's been two years since Kirby Star Allies. Um, and that game wasn't that great in comparison to, like, a lot of the other games that Kirby has done. Um, even in comparison to, like, uh, Planet Robobot on the 3DS, or, um, Triple... Triple Star, whatever. I don't know. There was one. There's another one. Three yet. That was pretty good. Um, even in comparison to those, um, Star Allies wasn't that great. And I think it's because um, they were trying to like optimize it for the Switch and you know make it like all HD and stuff, which they haven't done in a while. Um, so I'm hoping that since they got that all figured out, um, they can do something you know, just completely unchained by, like, you know, trying to figure out hardware stuff, and they can just make a real good game. Part of me hopes that it'll be very different this time, and there'll be some, you know, like, actually, like, groundbreaking, not, like, groundbreaking mechanics, but, like, um, do some changes, you know, I feel like the Kirby format has been the same for a very long time, ever since, I think, Dreamland on the Wii, or it was, like, Return to Dreamland or something, one of those, um, the format has kind of been the same, where it's like 3D Kirby with his friends and like this 2D plane. It's like been the exact same for a long time now, and seeing some sort of change, possibly, you know, I don't know, using 3D shit, I don't really know. I just want it to be good and spice things up a little bit, you know, make it, make it, make it a little bit, uh, tasty. Another, not as likely, but still maybe likely um prediction is a new mario strikers game so we've been getting mario sports games pretty consistently now for a while like i think every other year we've been getting mario sports games and there's only one franchise that hasn't really come back we've gotten mario tennis and we've gotten uh mario like golf and like the what? there's so many other sports games i'm just forgetting point is there's been a lot of mario sports games and they've all kind of come back in some shape or form uh, within the past like five years. Except for Mario Strikers. That is why I propose that it is Mario Strikers time to shine because that game was dope as hell. He had Mario, it was kind of gritty. Uh, they did all these like cool, super cool soccer special moves. Um, and I think now is the perfect time to do it. We have new, really powerful hardware. Uh, it's a Switch, so you can take it on the go. You can play uh, 1v1 matches with your friends wherever you want. It just sounds like a perfect fit. Alternatively, they could just remaster 
and like HDFI, the old one, which I'd be kind of okay with because that game still like kind of holds up. And if they just made it HD, it'd probably be it'd probably look alright. Um, but come on, give us that new game. Delving further and further into the unlikely zone, um, 3DS sports. I absolutely love my 3DS. It is like my favorite. I would say it's my favorite handle, but then the Switch came out. If you think, if you're talking about like dedicated handouts, then sure, it's my favorite, I think. Um, so many good times I've had on there and just fantastic games. But the thing is, there are a lot of games I also missed out on because I was a stupid little kid and I bought Sonic Boom on release day instead of like, I don't know, a good video game. My point is, there were some games I missed out on 3DS and I don't necessarily want to go back to the 3DS to start you know, and pick up those games and start playing them now, I would much prefer if, you know, maybe give them a little bit of an HD treatment and bring them over to the Switch. You know, games like Majora's Mask 3D, Ocarina of Time 3D, Kid Icarus, um, Hatsune Miku Project Mirai. That's not Nintendo, but sure, bring that over too. Nintendo themselves have said that they want to bring more 3DS franchises to the Switch, which doesn't mean porting necessarily it just means that they'll bring stuff like kirby and pokemon and um yoshi which they already have kind of brought them over to the switch um they'll continue to do stuff like that uh i think is what they're trying to say there but ports would be dope i really want to play majora's mask 3d it looks really fun it's just that i've never seen it in a store it's never on sale in the eShop, and i'm too lazy to order off of amazon and yes those are all very first world problems, and I'm a little bitch baby, but um, bring it to Switch, please. This one's actually two games. I merged into one, because I don't know which one's going to happen. I think it's going to be either or, and it's not going to be both, but um, a new 2D Metroid game. I think that would be really dope. Um, it also kind of maybe ties in with the 3DS port, because they could just port Samus Returns from the 3DS because no one really played that. It came out at the end of the 3DS's life cycle. Um, so either a new 2D Metroid or uh, the port of the old one or Metroid Prime Trilogy. Okay, so it started as two ideas to kind of spiraled into three. But hear me out. So it would make a lot of sense for them to port, um, what was it, Samus Returns to the Switch because it didn't sell super great i mean it sold pretty well for like an end of the life cycle 3ds game um but not that great it could have done better if it was i don't know on the most best-selling platform currently probably actually i don't know if the switch is the best-selling platform right now but it's kind of selling well you know it's, it's kind of it's kind of doing some numbers uh, it's kind of kind of big numbers um so it, it makes sense that they would want to maybe put this game that they put a lot of time into that no one played on this platform that has a lot of players i'm just saying um alternatively they could do a remake or not a remake um just a new one um which i think would be really dope get a lot more people excited because i heard a lot of complaining or not a lot of complaining but i've heard some complaints that they don't want 2d or people don't want 2d metroid um, to just be the series of remakes of the old games. We want some new stuff, which I agree with. We should do some new shit. Um, so yeah, a new 2D Metroid or the port of the 3DS one. And then for Metroid Prime Trilogy, um, there have been so many rumors about it, and I'm not really sure if it's like a, like a real rumor, like someone leaked this out, and they're saying this, and they got like, I don't know, some shit, some news from like, Nintendo HQ, and they know that it's gonna happen, and it, they've just been pushing it back because of Metroid Prime 4 being pushed back. Or if it's one of those things where it's like, I want it, so I'm gonna say that it's a rumor, and now Metroid Prime Trilogy is a rumor. Um, but I think it'd be really dope. I really... I don't really like the Metroid Prime series. I haven't played the Metroid Prime series, and I think I would really like it. I want to try them out. So, if they brought them to Switch, that'd be really cool. Um, hopefully, they have good gyro support with, for the Joy-Cons, because I heard the aiming in that game is pretty neat, with like the arm buster and the Wiimote. Um, so yeah, 
bring that to switch that'd be cool or a 2d metroid i don't really care i just want one of those i want more metroid i haven't really played metroid actually i play i've been playing um what was it super metroid and that game is freaking good holy shit did you guys know that super metroid's good you, you have for like the last like 50 years because everyone has known well yeah um it's good uh, more metroid please and my last final probably least likely prediction breath of the wild 2 for holiday 2020 now i know what you're saying bro they announced that like at e3 are you really thinking that they're gonna drop breath of the wild at the end of next year maybe breath of the wild is my favorite game of all time so it might be a little bit biased coming from me saying that i want it at least by the end of next year um and because it is because i am biased but i think it's reasonable um assuming they've been working on it since the first one like as soon as they stopped the uh, breath of the wild one they started work on breath of the wild 2 it's been like two years already and 2020 will be a third year three years sounds pretty good for just a new game w within the same engine and using the same assets um i think three years is a reasonable amount of time because they have enough they can make the story come up with new mechanics um and from what i've heard in like interviews and stuff um most of the time spent developing the original breath of the wild was spent in the engine and with the world so since they have a better idea of how they want to make the world and the engine is done i think they could cut it down to significantly less time does that mean that i have full faith in this no i don't but having breath of the wild 2 holiday 2020 would be the sickest thing of all time and that is my five games that i am predicting slash wishing for 2020. of course even if none of these really come true um we still got a pretty stacked 2020 not just with nintendo but with the video games as a whole um have you ever heard of march 2020 that shit crazy animal crossing doom eternal final fantasy 7 remake and persona 5 r all coming out within the same month on top of that we've got the uh, xenoblade definitive edition thing remake whatever that they're doing um we have cyberpunk 2077 um along with a bunch of other stuff that i'm probably forgetting and i'll throw it on the screen here blah, 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 blah. um it's a pretty stacked 2020 already so even if none of this happens i'm still gonna be a pretty happy camper but anyways uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below what you want for uh, games in 2020. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, like, any, just anything. I don't even care if it's, like, not Nintendo related. I just want to hear what people are uh, thinking about. What they're wishing. What's on their little Santa Claus wish list for games that don't exist yet. I want a Hatsune Miku dating simulator, but that's not gonna happen. Or a good My Hero game. Please, for the love of God, make a good My Hero game. Alright, I'm done rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace. Hey, it's me, Editor Citrus. You can tell it's Editor Citrus because it's from a different camera angle. Um, I just wanted to quickly say that... I know it has been a very long time since my last upload. It's been about a month, I think, uh, almost exactly. And um, I just wanna say sorry about that. I've been kind of busy with school stuff. Um, I've been getting really into my art as of lately, which is a little bit of a cringy thing to say. I know I'm an art student, Ugh, gross. <laughs> um, but truly I have. And um, that's kind of been my main focus as of late. Um, I'm trying to do a better job of managing both my YouTube and my art stuff because they're both things that I really, really care about. And um, I don't know, it's hard to manage both at the same time because for me, I don't really uh, 
I can't really focus on two things uh, heavily at once. It's just I go all in on one thing or all in on another thing. I don't really do two things at the same time. I just try and keep my focus on one. Uh, and YouTube has kind of taken the hit because of that, because in my head, and kind of the heads of everyone else around me, YouTube is a fun hobby that I enjoy and I like a lot, but animation and getting into my art is a little bit more likely to land me a job and make money, um, which is why I've been encouraged to start focusing on that. Um, but you know what? I can still have fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and balance this out and make things right. And I'm starting by doing more streams. Um, I've figured out that, hey, I can talk and do art at the same time. So I plan on doing more art streams. Um, obviously last night I did the Resident Evil 2 stream, so I'm probably gonna do more stuff like that. Uh, certainly probably gonna continue the Resident Evil series. Um, and yeah, got some big plans coming up, some video ideas and stuff that I've been, you know, on the back burner for a real long time, just chilling in the Google Drive, just a script waiting to be recorded and edited. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for listening to my little ramble here. I hope you forgive me for, you know, just kind of going on radio silence for a month. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.